my father bought the farm, the first farm. It was about 160 acres. I can't recall whether it was late 1949 or 1950 that he bought it, and that was before I was born. It includes um, river bottom farmland and some rolling pasture and hayland and a lot of woods and wasteland. Oh yeah, Dad never got rid of anything. My first car that was mine was a 1968 Impala. It's parked in the woods down there. Uh, there's an old Plymouth, which was the car that Dad bought from his grandfather when he came back from the war. I think it was a 37 Plymouth. It's down in, in an old uh, old lot in the on the first farm he bought. There's a large one row corn silage or insulage chopper. Eric always was enthralled with that. It was orange and it, he thought it looked like a dinosaur. It was a conglomeration. There was what we called the spare bedroom and that was a log cabin with a porch built onto it. Then there in front there was a very large two huge roomed brick house and then there was a small smokehouse out back and there were some um, I noticed there were some shackles hanging on that so I assume that at one point in time that that was used to house slaves uh, which would be a, a terrible place to be trying to live but those shackles made it made it look like that's what it was used for uh, the next house we moved to is what we call the McGowan Place. It was a small place that my mother just loved and she said, oh, I want to get out of that big old barn and I want to live in a, in a house that's small and there's, there's a place for everything and everything in its place. Needless to say, you could hardly walk through the house. My father always told me, he said, don't you farm. You need to get an education and get a good job. You don't want to farm, but uh, I, and and I kind of agreed with him, and I did that, and I was a uh, a chemist uh, and a manager, environmental technical manager, for a number of years. But I always liked coming back to the farm, and when I retired, I retired to the farm, and I helped my dad the last couple of years that that he was able to do farm work. And I've just always enjoyed being on the farm. So farmers never really retire. They just get old and die.